Hello and welcome to Just One More Watch. Welcome today to a video that is a bit of a showcase for the brand new model by Stratton, the Legera, currently live on Kickstarter. Now this isn't the first Stratton that I've looked at on the channel, I'm a big fan of the brand. I reviewed their curved chronograph early last year. I then did a similar showcase video with a bunch of prototypes for their Special model that launched in the middle of last year. And I did think it was indeed a little bit special. I picked up a brown dialed one for myself, powered by the legendary Valju 7750. And that watch has certainly found a place in my affection and my collection since then. Now I've described Stratton before as a bit of a Marmite brand. They tend to polarize people in the comment section. You either love them, you're all over the big pumped up sizing and styling of the 1970s, or you're not really into that look at all. One of the other common complaints in the comment section has been about the pricing of these watches. They're not what you would call cheap. However, I still think there's plenty of value to be had in these watches, as I'll tell you later on. The good thing about today's video is I've got them early this time. Currently live on Kickstarter, they've smashed their target already. This one is definitely going ahead. Kickstarter pricing tends to be 20 to 30% cheaper than the regular pricing of these Strattons. So as always, the early bird gets the best deals. If you're into one of these watches, get in now while the prices are low because they're only going to go up. Now, as always with Stratton, you are spoiled for choice. They're doing this one in two different case styles, two different movements, five different colors, that's 20 different choices of watches altogether. I don't quite have that many to show you, but I've got a fair few watches to get through today. Let's flip the camera and get on with it. Let's look at the Kickstarter campaign then. As noted, this one has smashed its target six times already. Now that's almost 100,000 Swiss francs, which is important for the stretch goals. So what are you paying for one of these Legeras then? Well, 335 US dollars for the Mecha Quartz. 260 quid. You can also option on a metal bracelet for an extra 40 US dollars, which I would recommend you do. Leather strap's nice, but always nice to have a couple of different options. Now onto the automatics, they are obviously more expensive, 875, so 671 quid. Likewise, there's a similar option to add a straight end link bracelet to those. As always, if you're interested, have a good look at the Kickstarter campaign, plenty of information. There's the usual buy two, buy three, buy four, buy one for your entire family and get an appropriate level of discount. Also some interesting information about the stretch goals. 50,000 Swiss francs has already been met, that's AR coating. 100,000 looks likely, that's a couple of more colors for you to choose from. On to the basics then. All of these Strattons will come with a 24 month international warranty. They will also all come in the same packaging. That being a fairly nice stout PU leatherette pouchy. I definitely prefer these to boxes these days. Comes with a spring bar remover tool, some Stratton bits and pieces and space for one watch in the bottom. Pay attention 007. We've got a lot to get through today. Four different watches to show. Two are Mecha Quartz, two are Auto, two are Bullhead, two are Standard. Now there are some subtle but I think important differences between these models. So if you are interested in picking up a Legera but aren't quite sure which one to go for, I think this will help you decide. So I'm gonna start with a brief look at the two Mecha Quartz, then the two automatics, then we'll do some details on each of the individual watches, we'll do wrist shots, uh, we'll do loom shots, pretty much everything you need to know about this watch before you purchase one. So the two Mecha Quartz first. Now the bull head over here in blue, it contains a Seiko VK67 movement. It features a ticking second hand at the three, 60 minute chrono timer at the nine and a 12 hour chrono timer at the six. The standard case with the chrono pushers on the right hand side features a Seiko Mecha Quartz 63 in its standard alignment. 
Ticking second down at the six o'clock, 60 minute sub dial for the chrono timer over here and a 24 hour at the nine o'clock. So only a maximum of 60 minute chrono timing with this one, whereas you get 12 hour chrono timing with the bullhead but you miss out on the 12, 24 hour dial. So that's the subtle but important differences between the two Mecha Quartz models. On to the two automatics. So the Bullhead features a Valju 7750, again, twisted by 90 degrees so that the crown points to the 12. We have got a second sub dial at the six o'clock, 30 minute chrono counter, and 12 hour chrono counter there at the three. Onto the standard, this one features a Valju 7753 movement. We've got a second sub dial at the nine, we've got a 30 minute counter at the three, and a 12 hour chrono counter at the six. So these two very similar movements, just a, a different alignment of the dials. Still with me? Good, hang on in there. All four of these watches feature 316L stainless steel, case, crown, bezel, and case back. They all feature a rotating bezel there with a 12 hour indicator. Now that substitutes for markings on the dial or you can indeed run a second time zone using that. So you've got a kind of pseudo GMT function there if you want it. All feature domed sapphire crystal. Now a big difference between the Stratton prototypes that I've looked at in the past and the production models has been the crystal. I'd imagine the crystal will be quite different look into this, uh, double domed with anti-reflective coating. That is one of the stretch goals and that stretch goal has been met. They all feature screw down crowns and they also all feature 100 meters of water resistance. So if you go for the optional bracelet at 50 US dollars, there's some genuine Thule credentials to these. They also all feature BGW9 Super Luminova in ice blue. There you go, that is a combined loom shop. Nice to see Stratton putting a bit more loom into these ones than previous models. That was my only minor complaint with my Special. There isn't an awful lot of loom, so certainly bodes well for the production units because there's plenty of loom on these prototypes. They also all feature the same two color leather perforated rally straps. Nice Stratton etched buckle there in brushed finished and color matched complementary stitching on these as well. I suspect the bull heads are gonna be generating most of the interest. There really aren't an awful lot of these on the market. Indeed, this is the first one that I've come across in a couple of years of making videos on the channel. So this is the Mecha Quartz, 42 millimeters in diameter, 42 millimeters from the bottom of the lug there to the top just next to the crown, 22 millimeter lug width, and the lug tip to lug tip on this one, again, because of this slightly unusual uh, shape of the case, is only about 44 millimeters. So it does wear rather well on wrist. Very unusual case design. Thickness is 14 millimeters. And this one on the supplied leather strap coming in as the lightest of the bunch at 101 grams. Mixture of brushed and polished surfaces on the case. We've got a vertical brush on the side, little beveled edge there with some polish and a straight brush on those lugs. Now this is a prototype, so slightly rough finish on the bezel, but that's a kind of nice coin edge bezel. Pushers nicely located into the case, and we've got a signed Stratton crown there. Kind of unusual pumpkin crown, reminds me of one of those roof ventilators. If you live in Australia, you'll know what I mean. Zoomed right in on the dial, and it's definitely super 70s here. We've got applied, indices all the way around. Very subtle branding though. They don't tend to over brand these Strattons at all, which I do appreciate. You've got a kind of rehot tacky meter in blue there and a little kind of boxed orange in a ring. Plenty going on in the dial, but I think they always manage to hang it together, these Strattons. Nice kind of squircles, those kind of square circles, also very reflective of the era just surrounding the three sub dials. Now getting this bullhead mecha quartz on wrist, I think this one probably wears the best of the bunch. It is the lightest, which definitely helps. It's also the thinnest at 14 mil. And that curve design, unusual though it may be, angling the dial of the watch to face the user is really quite nice. It does curve very nicely on the wrist. I think this one fits the best. And that's it zoomed out for perspective. Certainly unusual to me anyway, wearing a chronograph. There's something missing from the, the three o'clock there, the pushers and the crown. 
I guess if you do wear your watch lower down the wrist than I do, you're not gonna have that problem of the crown fouling if you wear it towards the knuckle. Next up, Mecha Quartz Standard Case. Now this one is larger, 44 mil in diameter. It's also 16 millimeters thick. However, only 48 mil lug tip to lug tip, so it actually wears like a smaller watch once you get it on wrist. The dial is kind of the same, but kind of stretched out a little bit. Those sub dials are just a little larger, but essentially the same color schemes and the same patterning as the slightly smaller bullhead. And that's it on wrist. Just a little bit of curvature to the ends of those lugs, so it does wear quite flat but only 48 lug tip to lug tip as noted. So even if you've got a slightly smaller wrist than my seven inch wrist, you should still be okay with one of these big boys on there. This one does weigh more, 117 grams, so 15 or so grams more than the bullhead equivalent. And then on to probably the most interesting of the watches in this Laguerre range, the automatic bullhead chrono. Very interesting. You really don't see too many of these around. So same dimensions, 42, 42, but this one's 16 and a half mil thick. Look at that side profile. It is completely outrageous. As with all of these watches today, one push of the top pusher starts the chronograph in operation, one push at a stop, and it's the, the bottom pusher, if you will, to reset it. And that's a quick comparison with the Bullhead Mecha Quartz. So you can see that big thick value movement needs an extra couple of millimeters of case. Also adds weight, 133 grams as opposed to 101 grams. So you certainly notice the difference on wrist. But once again, when you've got it on wrist, because that case is so curved, because of the relatively compact lug to lug, it actually wears quite well. It is a little bit top heavy. Same with all of these Valju powered watches on leather straps. I think maybe the bracelet would help balance this one out a little better. All of the bracelets are kind of three link oyster style, but with straight end links and a milled clasp. I think if you're gonna pick up one of these watches, the bracelet definitely a good addition. And finally, it's the daddy of the range. It's the Valju automatic standard case. Again, 44, 22 mil lug width, but we're pushed over 17 mil thick for this one. You've still got that relatively compact lug tip to lug tip though. This one also the heaviest of the bunch at 135 grams on the supplied leather straps. These straps are a little bit long. Production models will be uh, a little bit shorter. They'll have more holes on this end and less holes on this end if you see what I mean so that they can fit a wider range of wrists. I do like this gray model though. I think a little more subtle perhaps than the super 70s brown of the previous bullhead. I do like that sunburst effect on the dial there. Still plenty of 70s colors with the orange chrono hand and that orange chapter ring also. So what do I think of these Stratton Legueras overall then? Well, let's start with the Mecha Quartz. At 330 odd US dollars, I think there is some genuine value to be had in these ones. I included Stratton in my top five micro brand video towards the end of last year and I talked about their resale value. Unlike a lot of micros that drop like stones as soon as you take receipt of them, Stratton's hold their value very well. I had a quick look on eBay today. As you can see there, there aren't that many because people hang on to them and they're all listed pretty much at or even above the retail price because these models do sell out. So under 350 for a Mega Quartz, Sapphire Crystal, 100 meters water resistance, screw down crown, decent loom, nice strap, etc., etc. Add on the bracelet, you're still under 400 US dollars. I think they're pretty good deals and they wear nicely as well. The interest really though is in these bigger automatics. I mean, that is outrageous, the big brown bull head there with that Valju movement. And again, I don't think under 900 US retail is a, a bad deal on one of these movements. Again, shop around, do your own research, see what you think about the value. I'm sure these will go up to 11, 12, 1300 when they get to full retail. And I'm sure also that they will be sold out within a period of six months. So as discussed, Stratton, not the cheapest watches that I feature on the channel, but I do think there's genuine value for money there. But I guess it comes down to, do you like these 70s styling? And if so, which of the two case shapes, which of the movements, which of the colors are you gonna go for? Having gone for a special in brown, I might be tempted by this gray or perhaps even one of the bright red, bright yellow stretch gold colors that have just been added. So there you have it, the Stratton Laguerre chronograph then. Plenty of different options for you to choose from if you like these ones. 
always nice for me to look at something a bit different, a bit new on the channel. And indeed, this was my first ever encounter with a bullhead chrono. Rather unusual design. I guess the good thing is, if you go for the Mega Quartz, not only is it considerably cheaper, but it's smaller, it's lighter, and I think it actually wears better than the automatic. But I do really like these Strattons. I think they're very well designed, very well executed. 100 meters of water resistance and screw down crown really adds a little bit of Thule versatility that you don't always get with a Chrono. And I'll say it again, if you're into them, buy now because the price only goes up. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.